Alright, so like actually making something like this, like uh, uh, painting a gun, is pretty simple. All you're gonna really need is a ruler. I would really recommend X-Acto knives. This cost me like close to six dollars, I believe, a Harbor Freight, and you know you get all the stuff you need. These aren't like the most durable blades. They're not gonna hold up if you like jam them into a piece of wood or anything, but um, they cut and they're pretty sharp. And by the time all of those blades go dull, you can probably just get some new blades or, yeah, some, you know what I mean. But, uh, I would really, really recommend painter's tape just because you can, like, pick it up and stick it down, like, so many times. Um, and, uh, and a lot of other tapes can't really do that. So, yeah, really recommend this stuff. And it's easy to cut, and you can actually see when you draw on it. And that brings us to the next thing, which is a pencil. Um, you're really going to want the pencil for, like, if you're going to trace a design. Like, oops. I traced the Off-White logo on my phone, and I'm actually going to demonstrate how to do that right now. So you're going to take something like your phone or an iPad or any something, and you get the image pulled up. I actually screenshot something so then I can put it to the size I need. I'll take my piece of tape, put it on the screen, and then draw on it, unless you have a printer, I do have a printer, but this works out pretty good, so, um, and this way I can get it to the exact size a lot easier, and I can, like, measure out the size piece of tape I need, and then I can put it on my iPad or phone, and then trace it, so that works out really good, um, and I really recommend doing that. But yeah, so once you have your design uh, drawn on there, you can take your X-Acto knives and cut it out. And uh, most likely, I would recommend using a ruler, but you don't necessarily have to. I know I sometimes don't. But as you can see, I do have some of my tape laid down, um, like this spiral pattern I have on the barrel. But yeah, so I'm just going to put you guys up for a time lapse and... Um, Hopefully it turns out good. It is kind of a weird angle, but best angle I could find. So yeah, uh, hope you like it. Okay, so after all that, this is kind of what we're left with. A lot of tape. I ended up using some paper just to cut down on some of the tape, but it wasn't much. But um, I'm going to end up spray painting this also white, which just goes there, um, along with this piece here. Actually, no, this is going to stay black. I'm sorry. But that goes there. Actually, I'm going to put this over there. But, maybe, but um. And then, I'm also going to be spray painting this, which is just like, uh, the bottom of the grip. And, under this tape, there is a bunch of these type lines here, but I have a paint pen that I'm going to use, because cutting this out took literally forever, and I think the paint pen's going to work better anyways. So, I'm probably going to end up doing those. I'm going to do this small spot here, this spot there, a spiral on the barrel. And actually, I'm going to cover up the orange tip and obviously the inside of the barrel. But spray painting this, this little, I don't even actually know what this does, but it's here. Here's the off-white logo and then the reverse right there. So really cool. Um, but yeah, I hope this turns out good. I'm not really sure. This took forever just to kind of space out. But yeah, I think it'll look pretty good, but uh, let's go spray paint. So I have all the parts um, painted up and I'm going to be deciding if I want to paint in the spots here. They look like that um, with this thing, which is just a paint pen type thing. But yeah, so I'm just going to set up a time lapse to take off some of this tape for you guys and then I'll put it all back together and uh, we'll see the finished product. Thank you. 